That will start to change my biases around a bit as well as you can see if we do a candle body closing basis, the 786 is coming in at 45.5. So otherwise, we're, uh, we're kind of giving uh, the odds to the bears here for this being a bit of a bull trap. So Ethereum probably has a little bit more left on uh, its move unless it gets rejected here at the 382. We call it a weak bounce. And welcome back to Bitcoin Advisors channel. My name is Chris and I'm bringing you this lovely cryptocurrency video right from Westlake Village, California. And as you can see, uh, we're going to talk about Bitcoin price action, maybe a little Ethereum, maybe a little Solana and check in on some of the underlying market dynamics as Bitcoin has made its way up to the 0.5 and the 618 and we were expecting a bounce coming off this green 55 finally getting the bounce and well what does that mean for price action typically um this is what you want to be aware of and we did say hey look if we reclaimed this level at 41,000 on the daily time frame specifically this horizontal here that we'd be looking for a long back to the top side of the range at 44,771. Um, but in order for us to get bullish and really confirm this as a bit of a bear trap, uh, we'd want to see a daily closure back above this pivot at 45,000. Uh, and that is on a wick basis. And that will start to change my biases around a bit as well as you can see if we do a candle body closing basis, the 786 is coming in at 45.5. So if you're a little more conservative, you might wait for that daily closure. Otherwise, uh, we're kind of giving uh, the odds to the bears here for this being a bit of a bull trap. And again, how do you trap the bulls? Well, they suck the price up, maybe get a little uh, breach of the 618 and then back below it, back below the 382. And that's when you know, uh, you know, bull trap confirmed. So back below 42,300 and, um, you know, more specifically that 41,000 level, if you're a little more aggressive, 42,300 back below there. And I would say you're looking at a bit of a bull trap confirmed. So get everybody bullish. People go long here and then they, throw it back down. That is what a bull trap is. I just turned $140 into $1,300 over the last two weeks. Yes, it's possible in the land of cryptocurrency. My name is Chris Mitchell. I am the CEO of Crypt Courses, and I'm bringing you this video because I'm gonna give you some really good information on how to buy, sell, and trade digital currency. Now, You've probably heard about a lot of people making a lot of money in crypto, but you don't feel safe or intelligent enough to make the investment. That's why I created Bitcoin 101, how to stack sats using technical analysis. It's the crypto traders dream to starting your crypto journey. It's absolutely free. All you gotta do is click on the link in the description below and we will get you your free guide today. And uh, happy to get bullish again once daily start closing back, you know, really above 45 or 46,000. Uh, probably, probably a good number for me. Um, other than that, let's check in on Ethereum really quick. So Ethereum kind of making it into the box as well. Um, but for a weak bounce. So Ethereum probably has a little bit more left on uh, its move. Unless it gets rejected here at the 382, we call it a weak bounce and uh, it rolls over. Momentum has just crossed up for the first time on declining volatility. I'm looking for Ethereum to at least come back up to 24.62. Um, usually you get a shot at the 618 off a, a uh, declining volatility play, right? Off the green 55, as volatility is declining, that's when you see uh, a little bit of a mean reversion bounce and that could come up to 40, sorry, call it 2400 or 2500. Um, let's see um, how Tether is doing. Uh, Tether putting in a bit of a lower high, trend continuation of the downside would be nice after a weak bounce. So as Tether goes down, altcoins typically go up. 
Um, and then we are bouncing off the uh, the box that we had here. Again, coming in at the 0.5 and the 618, almost a perfect test. So here's where we want the higher low to form, um, in my opinion. If we're going to continue our bullishness on um, on uh, sorry on uh, Ethereum over Bitcoin, um, that is you know right in line with what we'd been talking about for a bit of a bounce on the ETH Bitcoin pairing. And uh, let's see if I can see anything else on the daily momentum. We'll flip back up today above 0.542. So we're currently sitting above there now. And I would, in general, uh, look, look at that as a bit of a bullish sign. If momentum does flip back to the upside from this low level, we could get a stronger bounce. And that probably does lead on with you know, Ethereum having a little bit more of a bounce left in the tank and uh, perhaps playing some catch up to Bitcoin as Bitcoin has led the last major bounce. Getting a little sip from my Yerba Mate tea. All right, checking in on CMEs for Bitcoin. Um, nothing there. Bitcoin dominance, uh, perhaps putting in a lower high on the daily, which would encourage uh, more upside as Bitcoin dominance goes down. Well, Ethereum dominance goes up and altcoins have a chance to run. So could we get the alt party that we're hoping for? Could the altcoin index be right? And I do want to uh, check in on that. Check in on some of the underlying market dynamics. We'll make this a bit of a shorter video today. Uh, and we have lost the critical area, the 75 region. We've dipped back below it. And well, um, in past times, that's you know when Bitcoin tends to outperform those altcoins. So a little stint up there, uh, not much of a, you know, we can see if we can reclaim it, but uh, other than that, you can see the top uh, 90 coins outperforming Bitcoin at the moment, starting off with Ordi, TSA, SUI, IMX, AVAX, ICP, Solana, Stax, Injective, Optimism, Cast, Near, Mina, Render, and ARB. And um, personally speaking, I'd be looking in this area um, for some coins that are, you know, typically outperforming Bitcoin, but are not at the moment already kind of stealing the show. Um, and where's Solana in the mix? Is Solana even in here? Yeah, Soul coming in at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seventh place. So Solana uh, definitely doing a little bit of work here in the past day or so. Let's take a look at Mr. Solana. <coughs> If I can find it here, there it was. Soul. So we got a lot of lines here. Uh, not sure where those are coming from. So I'm going to go ahead and delete some of these lines here. And that date. And what do I see here? Just a break of a major trend line. And did we get the, the retest when we broke that trend line? Yes, we did on the hourly. Probably not drawn as nicely as on the four hour. Let's see what the four hour looked like. And I need my other tool here. Sometimes close enough is close enough. And when we uh, rejected here and got stuck back below, that was your sign. Okay, probably coming a bit lower. And then as we re, re pierced the trend line, that was the breakout. This time we got a little bit of a retest and just took off to the moon here. So um, what am I looking for? Ethereum. We have the four hour Stokes crossing down in the in the critical zone. So it's still trending here on the four hour. Um, could perhaps get one more push higher, but overall uh, does look like it wants to test a little bit lower 102 and then, um, you know, support and resistance, support and resistance coming back uh, right 
in this area, this last blue node. So if we're looking for buying opportunities somewhere in that area, and as long as we are above the green 55, I'm going to remain bullish on this one. Um, where do the pullbacks typically go? Well, right to the 0.5 and the 618. If this is going to roll over by closing probably just below uh, the 21, you know, you could expect that move to the 0.5 or the 618. Uh, not going to happen in one day or one session, but, um, you know, don't fight the uh, the uptrend at the moment. And we did make a daily higher high, so we'd just be looking for a higher low now for this breakout to continue. On Mr. Solana, um, what else do I want to look at? Any of the altcoins? Uh, let's take a look at Tau. Uh, Tau is smoking to the upside right now at... Um, 439 and where do I expect the breakout to continue to? Uh, probably looks like it's getting pushed back for a bit of a retest because we already hit that 1618. Already hit the 1618 and uh, definitely a pressure down on the hourly time frame or on the 15 minute time frame. <laughs> We can see if we can bounce it off support here uh, for one more attempt higher because it is in a blue sky breakout at the moment. Um, what else do we have on the board here? Let's see. I think that's going to be it for today. A lot of people interested in chain link took a big leg up. Where's that leg heading? Well, uh, massive consolidation on this one. And uh, really, if we do close the daily back above 1638, all that is going, oh yeah, volatility is on the floor. This thing is going to lift off here as soon as vol. Yeah, this is one that I've been saying probably going to head up to 30 bucks at some point this year. Um, is it going to do it now? Is alt, uh, is, it's looking bullish to be fair on the daily. So as soon as volatility expands, you expect the price to go in the direction of the stochastic and I am liking this one for a bit of a liftoff. Just needs to take out that wick here at well, 1767. That's probably good enough for me. Um, all right. I think I'm going to leave us with that, guys. I hope you have a blessed and highly favored rest of your day. And I will be back tomorrow. And for the monthly close, uh, take care. And I will see you in the next one.